The history of developing new treatments of melanoma is a great story of modern science. It's harnessing the immune system to cure cancer. There are these cells called T cells that monitor all of the cells in our body and if they change and get mutated or get infected with a virus, they will attack those cells and eradicate them. But cancers are smart and they've worked out ways of getting around that natural defence of the T cell in the body. Individual molecules were discovered on the surface of these T cells that turn them on and off. One's able to change the function of those molecules, turn on T cells, make them into killer cells, and then they will eradicate you know, the cancer. And the story in melanoma has just been phenomenal. We always knew that melanoma in particular had a very weird relationship with one's own immune system if you had a melanoma. Immune cells were sometimes seen within that melanoma, suggesting that the immune system is mounting its own response against the melanoma, that was a clue, but had not quite got it. We also had rarely these spontaneous remissions, so what we mean by that is patients where it had spread, particularly to the lung, we saw this, lung and lymph nodes. We noticed that there were these few cases where patients' melanoma would just disappear. They'd be diagnosed with melanoma that had gone to the lung, biopsy proven, and then three to six months later, it just disappeared. Very rare, about one in a thousand, but it happened. Melanoma and renal cancer, you could identify cells, particularly T cells, that they had experienced the cancer. People thought, wow, those cells are there, they're just not stimulated enough. If we could really get those cells really activated, then they'll attack the cancer. And so there was an awful lot of work, in fact, hundreds and hundreds of clinical trials in an effort to try and get those cells fully activated. That work went on for decades, for at least three decades and drew pretty much a complete blank. And then it really was this, I refer to it as a penicillin moment in cancer therapy, when we actually were able to harness that immune system and do it in 50% of patients. We actually now have developed drugs that in 50% of the case cure what was a death sentence only 10, 15 years ago. Back in those days, we just had no treatments apart from surgery and radiation. Jump forward 10 or 15 years and I was now giving people a tablet and their tumours were shrinking away. It was an amazing period. You know, it went from a mole on my back to right throughout my skeleton. What I knew of melanoma was looking at that scan that that would be a death sentence. I started on medication maybe two weeks after. I almost had immediate response to that in terms of my pain. We did a scan maybe a week or 10 days later and already there was improvement. I could feel like a lump underneath my breast and that had disappeared. When they told me that my scans were clear, it was unbelievable, it, it is, it's miraculous. I didn't have to have surgery, I didn't have lymph nodes removed, so I'm not dealing with lymphedema. Like, I'm really one of the truly lucky ones. It turns out that many cancers will respond to these immune treatments, including other forms of skin cancer as well, where, interestingly, all major forms of skin cancer will respond to these immune treatments, not just melanoma. I can see how far we've come. I mean, it's spectacular. You know, cancers that were hitherto incurable are now curable, or at least we can manage them in ways that essentially turn them into chronic diseases that people have for a long time, rather than, you know, automatic death sentences. The approach that we're taking is working, and it's working spectacularly well. I mean, there's nothing on the horizon from my perspective that tells me it's gonna be slowing down anytime soon.